Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dredge. My call sign is November 9. In the last episode, we showed why it is a bad idea to panic. In this game, we uh, lost all of our fish. We were hit by a shark. And a bunch of birds stole our fish. And none of that stuff may have existed. So, I could go out here. I don't have anything in my hold. Instead, I'm just going to say, discretion is the better part of Valor, and we're going to chill out for now. And restart our attempts to get that, uh, kind of fish was it? Tiger mackerel? Snake mackerel. I'm going to go find the snake mackerel and give it to the uh, hooded figure. If I can do that without nearly killing myself in the process again. Alright, so let's move out here from Greater Marrow. And we're just going to head off again to the northeast. And hopefully we can find that snake mackerel spawning spot. And uh, snag some of the fish there. And get what we can get from the hooded figure as a reward. I hope everybody's enjoying this playthrough of Dredge. Dredge is kind of a... It's not an action-packed game. It requires a little bit of strategy and requires a lot of persistence trying to get the fish you want and dealing with the various uh, panic-related effects the game can throw at you. And so I hope you're enjoying uh, this play of Dredge here on my channel. And of course, if you like what you see, you can always subscribe. I think I'm up to 14 subscribers, maybe one subscriber on Rumble. I'm also putting these videos out on Rumble, so if you prefer Rumble to YouTube, then uh, you can find me there as well. Same name. Alright, I think this might be the spot right here. I did not mark it or anything, because I thought we'll just get these and never have to come back here how wrong I was. We're going to get three. Just in case. Alright. Again, kind of late in the day. We know which island we're going to. It's to the south and a little bit uh is it southeast or southwest? South and a little bit west. Kind of in this direction. Unlike last time. And you can see it's already getting dark out. So this is not good. Check the map again. All right, in theory, we're headed right for it. You know what, now that I'm thinking about it, it may just be a better idea to, to go dock somewhere. Oh well, we're going to push on. And you can see the onset of panic just started. And I swear, I think it's just dead ahead here. Right over here. Perhaps. Can't see anything. I think this is it. Right there. All right, we'll give him the snake mackerel. Almost fulfilled. Here you go, buddy. 
No idea how hard that was for me to get to you. The fish has barely left your hands for its splintered nails begin peeling at its scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Their head tilts upward to look at you. They take a book from inside their robe and hand it over. Hunger sated. Now I wait. Cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep sleep. All right, so we got a new book out of that deal called Haggling and Bartering a Guide. All right, let's shoot the moon here. And then we're just going to go straight for Ishampur or Isfel or whatever the, the name of those cities straight ahead of us is. Hopefully we can do that without being killed by the various sea creatures on the map. Look at that big gusher of pink going up in the sky. That must be where a uh, important item is located. All right, we made it. Let's just quickly get some rest here. I don't care about the ship in the hold. All right, sanity regained here at Ingfell. The other fish are stale, but they are still sellable. So let's undock and go get rid of them. Then we can check our crab pot on the way out there. And we caught some rock crabs. So we'll pick all that up. And go unload all this stuff. Alright, fish market. Oh, what did I just sell? I don't know what was there. Hopefully it was a, a fish. Alright. And let's repair. And then let's go over here. Can we buy this? Yes. Alright. To the shipyard. I mean, whoops, not to the shipyard. To the floating dock. And we're going to upgrade the hull. We need 500 more bucks. We have $5.55. Alright, well at least that's done with. Let's get back out on the water here. Got to catch the fish. All right. He unintentionally depleted that spot. Let's go sell this stuff. We could drop our crab pot and then we'll go check something else out. Crab pot overboard. Let's go over here to this other city or house or whatever it is. A pile of loose debris clearing this would take some strong explosives. Looks like there's a ship behind there as well as the remainders of a city. Pull up to the dock here. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? Uh, <laughs> this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, 
I've been steadily holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I've been happier for so long, my wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. Say, so, hey, I can help you move to Ingfell. Oh. It's not that simple. My brother would never... You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day, probably that other guy we talked to. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. And I'll say, why don't you give it back to him then? Again, it's not as simple as that. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it's a large whale-boned crest. It would mean the world for me. to me. I'll say, I will look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. And let's go back and ask him something else. Hello again, what can I do for you? Do you know how I could clear the debris around here? Hmm, you'd probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to make explosives. For the whaling operations, you see nasty stuff. But with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? Uh, do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Someone that used to live here kept their ship moored at the base of the cliff until it was struck by some falling rocks and sunk to the bottom. They were devastated at the loss. We all were. It was a beautiful boat, decorated with all manner of memorabilia from their travels. The low tide, I can still see what's left of the masthead poking through the waves. And then we'll say, what's happening to those cliffs? Mm. They're being consumed from the core by that hateful serpent. Have you seen it? Nobody believed me, not until it started devouring our foundations, opening up chasms beneath our homes. It was nightmarish, waking in the night to the sound of a creature slithering somewhere underneath. It seems to have turned its attention elsewhere, but not before it took everything from me. Well, that is uh, too bad there, guy. Alright, so... Let's move out here. We need some explosives. This is kind of dangerous here, but... We run the risk of attacking the... Uh, oh... I don't like that. Alright, we found a bag of doubloons. Well, let's go sell those really quickly before the sea creature comes and attacks our boat. And uh, we lose everything. Is there some debris right here? No. All right, research part, even better. This suddenly became a productive day. All right, tied up go into our ship. We will put this into storage so we don't lose it. Oh, I put a crab into storage. What a moron. That's what I did earlier and I just didn't realize it. Okay. Uh, so we'll sell that thing at the fish market. And then we will go to the research. So what can we do? We can do an anti-tangle line. Um, which we will probably need at some point. Because it has mangrove ability. Then we can unlock this rod that catches everything. So why don't we unlock the anti-tangle line. One more and we'll be able to put that on our ship. If and when we go to where the mangroves are. Now... 
don't have any money really. So I don't recommend upgrading to this engine. Uh, even though we can't afford to. For the simple reason that it would take up almost all of our engine spots. And then we'd have just the arterial engine. You want a little more room. So in case your engine gets knocked out, you still have some propulsion. I don't want to count on just the arterial engine to move me around. At least for right now. Alright, let's uh, get some rest. And we're going to wake up early and go look for this conger eel. Which that woman in town wanted us to catch. I'm going to check around the back side of the island over here. Oh, what's this? All right, silver trinket. Unfortunately, we didn't find the conger deal. <laughs> and some lumber. And we finished the book. What did we get out of it? Oh, we got a bonus to our sell price and stuff like that. Forgot we picked up this message. Uh, deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Casket seal broken, fog core. Five, rise, he knows. Huh. Artifact manifest, Oka music box. Ooh, that's what we want there. Uh, hmm. I have a feeling that the conga reel is going to be somewhere around here, I think. Definitely a lot of shipwrecks. An opal ring. This should just be some fish. Ooh, we caught a wreck fish. I, I must confess, I've never heard of a wreck fish. Couple of wreck fish. Take up a lot of place, a lot of room in the hold of the good ship lollipop here. Alright, no, I don't want to hit the water spout. I see some salvage right here. And another research part, so that is very important. And did we already do this? What does this one say? Stone hums quietly. Uh, place your hand on the stone. Maybe we have to be more insane to get it to do something. Let's just... Oh, we're not going to do anything. It's not going to move. Let's just move back and forth, maybe we can go crazy. Although I think we have to be panicking. And I really can't see anything. I thought I said I wasn't going to do this. Alright, let's look at this place. Campsite. Stand in the center of a campsite. Fire's embers are cool. But ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. Take a closer look at the campfire. 
large flat rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Let's kick the ashes. Your foot hits something hard at the bottom of the pile. Hey, another research part. Hopefully we don't lose these. Alright, what do you want to do? Look for footprints. You find no footprints but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched in the dust nearby. Some have been erased with a hasty sweep of a foot. How about check the makeshift tent? The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smooth hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Alright. And that's everything there. Let's go put our research parts in here really quickly so they don't get lost. Alright, spend one on that. And we'll just put the other one in here because I'm sure we'll need it eventually. So now we can't lose those. Alright, undocking. Oh, hit the crazy stuff. All right, let's go hit those thing down. See what happens. Stone trembles before you. Unknown symbols glow from within. Place your hand on the stone. A sudden chill rushes through the mar marrow of your bones, surging up your arm, your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. A blustery wind screams through the cliffs, diving and turning. It passes over a large wooden ship at anchor. All flags filling suddenly. Probably the sunken ship behind the wall of debris in there. A skinless face appears on the fluttering fabric. A wail of terror rises from the crew. Sounds like what happened in the mummy. Alright, well that's Bizarro World. Uh, let's just go back to the dock over here and rest for the rest of the night. Because we're kind of freaking out right now. And I don't want to go crazy. All right, kind of took a long time to calm down there, but we did. And I forgot to look for the stupid conger eel. So instead, let's just continue dredging. Another ring. You know, this fish is probably stale, so we're just going to discard it. Uh, I don't think we can fit another one. Yeah, we can. And the fish is stale, but I'm just gonna... Uh-oh, what's that mean? Perfect packing. Have a full cargo. Well, look at that. You're welcome. Uh, there's more debris over here. I think I have a lot of that. I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'd be willing to bet the stupid eel is somewhere in here. Ooh, what's that? Is that a bottle? Oh, there's the creature! Oh my god, get away from me! Oh, peculiar engine damage, wreck fish loss overboard. Well, maybe I can fish here now that it doesn't matter. Ouch. All right, what did we get? The family crest. Why won't this fit into my... Oh, because there's a damage spot there. We'll discard the lumber overboard. All right, we got the family crest. Let's get out of here. 
and we're running out of time again. And my ship is damaged. I hate to say it, we're gonna spend another night in the island over here. Oh, I think that's where those conger eels are. We might dump some lumber overboard on the way back. All right, we're gonna wake up early and get that conger eel. All right, up at the break of dawn. Hopefully that stupid serpent thing doesn't come back here. Oh my god, it's right freaking there. Get away from me. I'm backing up as fast as I can. All right, well, we're dead. <laughs> Your ship is dashed to pieces. You slip beneath the surface. Join the uncountable souls lost in the depths. All right, I don't know when I last saved, so we might be starting over again. Okay, good. It just put us back to uh, when we woke up. All right, well, if he's coming through that thing, let's go this way. I feel compelled to try it again. Is this the conger eel? Is that kind of real? It is the kind of real. I can't. I'm gonna have to discard it. All right. Well, we know where it is. It's right here. We'll just have to come back and get it tomorrow morning. After I fix my ship and unload all this scrap. But we found the family crest. That's important. Because now maybe we can get some explosives. What is that? That's a ship. And with some explosives we can get at the shipwreck. And if we get to the shipwreck, then we can get a magical item of some sort. Speaking of magical items, I don't know if I've gotten whatever's from that altar yet, I don't remember. So we'll do that too. Look how slow your ship is with one of the engines knocked out. Good grief. Like I said, that's why you don't want to buy that one big engine and have it be your only way of propulsion because you'll be dead in the water. Especially if you didn't pony up the extra two or three bucks for the arterial engine. So, word to the wise. Multiple engines is a good idea in this game. As you can see, we are very slow. It's taken us all day to get back from the other side of the island. Because I didn't want to go up the middle there with that creature who already killed me once. We want to avoid the water spout, even if we might get a free fish out of it. Go to the fish market. Do we have any fish to sell? The answer is no. We will put these rings to storage. And the silver trinket to storage. And the lumber to storage. Do we even have any storage room left? Not much. Okay, now let's have our ship fixed. All right, thank gosh. All right, let's go tell this guy we found the family crest. Maybe he will give us something else that we need, as long as we can avoid the creature from the Black Lagoon. All right, let's go see the hermit. 
Hello again, what can I do for you? Is this your family crest? <laughs> you found it! I never thought I'd see this beauty again. But now, I have a further favor to ask. Would you take this to my brother at Ingfell? Tell him... Tell him his brother is sorry and would like to come home. Alright, we're doing a family reunion. It's like Dr. Phil. I guess, if that's what happens on Dr. Phil. Trundle across the harbor here, or as they say in Boston, the harbor. Retired whaler. Mm. What is it? I believe this crest is yours. Uh. Gods, I haven't seen this since. <clears throat> so he did take it. I knew it. Your brother's sorry. Will you let him come home? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know if I was in a right state when he left. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop, at least for the time being. But I'll need some time to clear it out. While I'm doing that, perhaps you could do something for me. Sure, what is it? So I've been trying to clear some debris in the pathways to the cliffs to make a shortcut with explosives. I can do that. I was able to set a charge, but the cliffs seemed particularly unsteady that day so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not far in, I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Uh, nope. We'll get going from that. Do we want to do this right now? And the answer is no. We're going to empty our crab pot here. And we got a decorator crab. We're gonna wake up early and try to get that freaking conger meal. Huh. All right, made a little bit of money. Hmm. Oh, whoops! Don't do that. Prepare the crab pot. Taking a nap. I'm gonna wake up around four o'clock. And get out there and try to get that conger eel. We may not be able to even make it over there or not. So, yeah, you can see here, even with an undamaged engine, we are not going to make it there or not. So, we'll just have to stay the night over on this side of the island and then uh, take care of it tomorrow. Now I do want to find... Ooh, what's that? Oh, you know what? I, I have too much of that stuff already. Oh, there's the creature. Get away from me. Let's run for the waterfall. Maybe we can hide in here. Look at this! A hidden spot. Ooh, with a chest. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble at the back of the cave. Look inside. Look at that, folks. We didn't even have to pay for the refined metal. If we had looked behind the waterfall, we would have had it right there. And look at this big bag of doubloons. Pick up. All right. What is here inside the cave? Disturb water, low abyssal. Well, there is some gigantic fish here. Ooh, is that... A very long fish. And an abyssal fish. We will definitely have to remember this is behind the waterfall here. Uh, this might be one of the fish that... The fish selling the ooh, it's right here, page sixty-four. Day or night, available by Rod. All right, we'll have to get in there and get that. Uh, or fish, I think that's what it might be. All right, so we got to detonate some explosives, and we got a congreal to catch. And we gotta avoid. 
Something creepy. Oh, there's the uh, explosives. Along with a water spout. And some kind of treasure. And we got a balloon. And somehow avoided the water spout. I don't know how. A pile of loose debris in the gaps between the rocks, you can see what appeared to be large white teeth. There's a long fuse trailing out from the side. This must be the location the whaler once cleared for a shortcut. Light the fuse? Yes. You light the fuse. Boom! The debris crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. Alright, well that was good. Sne see if we can sneak out here. Maybe we can get more explosives, as I saw other places, I think we can use them. You've done it! We heard the blast from here. God's the echo. Surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Alright, well I guess that's all we can do right now. Then we can get some explosives and blow this up and get whatever trinket, music box maybe, is located in the ship. Give it to the collector, blah 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 blah. Alright, let's talk to the hermit. Hello again, what can I do for you? Your brother forgives you, he's found you a place to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old I hardly remembered it was there. Right. Well, I'm packed and ready to go. Alright, so we can... Do we even have the room? Barely. The hermit climbs aboard with all of his belongings. Alright. It would be a great time for that sea monster to come along. <laughs> and just toss him overboard. Alright. Good deed for the day. Is almost done. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock, waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I, I'm so sorry. I was so foolish. We both were. Come on inside. Let me get your bags. Two brothers walk away down the dock. One pauses for a moment and turns back to you. No stranger, if you ever find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Come by the old whaling yards anytime. Alright, let's go by the old whaling yards right now. Here, this is on the house, all for your help. Alright, so we got a free explosives out of it. I can put them to good use wherever you find cause for it. Um, there's more available here, but I'm not going to buy any more right now even though we can use them. So I want to go blow this up before it gets too dark out. It's getting close to the bad time. Pile of loose debris can be cleared to make a shortcut. Use explosives. Set the charge and light the fuse. All right. The debris crumbles away. But what do we have here? We got a dredging spot. For a pair of sapphire earrings. And very gingerly, because we don't want to crash on anything. Shapes in the deep. All right, there is the music box. Return to the collector. Let's spend the night here 
first. We'll just have to deal with that congria later, folks. All right, undock. And we will make haste for the collector. And we're going to come right back here anyway, so... Fear not. But I think turning this in ASAP is a good idea. Get away from me, water spout. Where is the collective island from the world? Northwest to Blackstone Isle. We still got some other islands around here we gotta look at anyway. I'm hoping maybe I can get enough money to upgrade the hull of the ship and get a bigger engine in there. So maybe we can start going a little faster. I think we are going... Yeah, it's almost too north now. Dolphins! There it is, the ruined mansion of the Collector. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I see big fish. Because that just must have been a rock. Alright, let's see what the Collector has to say. So have you returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You dragged the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The Collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? And we got an achievement called The Secret Surrender the Music Box. Uh, we could say yes, I don't remember, or it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know why you would not tell him the truth, so we'll say yes. Ah, uh, excellent. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbons trailing from the Crimson Bound book, opening it to an unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the words on the page. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, as though thrown high by a wave. He closes the book and turns his attention back to you. Now there are more relics to find. Keep looking. Ability lock unlocked manifests the ability to return immediately to Blackstone Isle. So it's like a fast travel. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, the words you read from that book, what did they do to me? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended it towards you. And then we'll ask about manifest. Use of those words, these words, will induce a trance-like state. Well, in this state, time will pass with the blink of an eye. When it is over, you will find yourself here. As always, the caution against overusing this, selectively and strategically utilize it when you need it most. <sighs> All right, so that's what Manifest is. It's really a fast travel back to here. All right, so we'll go into the storage now that we don't have the music box. And we'll move these rings. And all this other stuff we accumulated uh, into that. And we'll just leave that for now. And we will go sell this. And then see if we have enough money to upgrade our ship. I don't want to get any more wood or cloth or anything right now because we have a lot of stuff for the ship right now. Returning customer, please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find it useful. He pulls a book from a stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. 
It's covered in dust, but otherwise seems in good condition. You can sell all our trinkets for $367.50. That's good. We will put the refined metal into storage. And that's that. And maybe we can catch the fish here really quickly. And get enough money to unlock stuff. It's a good thing the town isn't depending on me as their sole source of food because I've been really slacking in that regard. Really slacking. Let's get some squid here. Two aberrated squid in a row. All right, that's good. The lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? I will say, what's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. I don't know what you mean. The mayor hired me to fish for your town. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. All right, whatever, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. All right, let's sell some fish. We got a pretty good chunk of change there. Talk to the shipwright. Nothing needs repairing. And to the dry dock. And we can unlock the new hull. All right, tier two hull upgrade. Hull improved, achievement unlocked. All right, let's not stop there. Let's see what else we can create out of our storage. Upgrade our engine spots. Even though we don't have the money, it's good to get our stuff out of storage for that. I think we can pull this off as well. So then we just need cash at that point. And we will be able to pull this off. Alright, to that. And we can't totally do this, but I know where to get some more lumber from at least. So that's that. I would love to just sell this stuff if I could. Huh. Let me see if I can sell any of this to the shipwright. Like this thing. I'm never going to use this. Weak valve engine. Alright, goodbye. Uh, base fishing pole, coal still, weighted line. Custom rods better than that anyway. This is both of them. So we'll sell this and this and this. And because I'm OCD, we're going to move this stuff around. And now we can go back to the dry dock and buy this upgrade. Additional engine spot. And by this upgrade, more space folding rods. 
So we got this unlocked for rods. We got this unlocked for an engine space. So can we afford another engine? I don't think we can. We've got more rod room here as well. So we may end up turning this sideways and putting it over here at some point if we have too much or not enough room or whatever. So maybe at some point when I get the money, I'll put the big engine in this spot and sell that and then keep the peculiar engine and the arterial engine on. All right, let's take a quick nap. And let's see if we can get the rest of the supplies we need to unlock that last upgrade. Maybe right around here. I think this is a cloth right here, maybe. No, it's lumber. We need that to go. Alright, that's all that. Let's check over here. So many fishing spots now. I'm like, I want a dredge to upgrade my boat so I can catch more fish. Just need some cloth. Oh, I don't know what's happening, but my boat is trembling. I don't think we touched that one yet either. Maybe we did, and I just don't remember. Oh, is there some in here? That looks like fish. That is a fish. Oh, I should have bought some explosives from that guy. Well, that was a nice sail around the ocean that didn't get us anything. Let me go ground this and... I don't even have room for that. Maybe we can buy explosives from here. Just one cloth to unlock that. Probably use one right nearby and I'm just not smart enough to remember where it is. Probably up near that North Island. Well, why don't we try to get that upgrade out of the way before we call this episode quits. And then we'll go back and get that Conqueror Eel and see if there's other stuff we can get around that other island. Um, maybe get some explosives, come back here, see what's behind that wall, rock wall. I wonder if these reset. Oh, and I have a crab pot up here that I totally forgot about. It looks like they did reset. Alright, well that was a good haul of crabs. 
No one ever says that, by the way. Uh, more lumber. I don't need that. Is this cloth right here? It is. Oh, look at that. A research part. Even better. All right. Well, that was very productive. We will get that upgrade, at least unlocked, if not afforded. And we'll put that research part in that should unlock the last uh, rod with the volcanic thing, which I'm presuming is available at one of these islands we're going to go to. So when we show up there, we can just throw it on the ship and start fishing right away instead of having to wait to unlock it. Did I just sail? Oh no, I was like, did I sail past the harbor entrance? Into the dry dock. There it is. So we need 300 bucks to unlock it, which we don't have. Go to the fishmonger. Still don't have 300 bucks. <laughs> Repair our crab pots. And use our research parts. To uh, unlock the heat resistant line. All right, and so our next one is the versatile rod, which is coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic. Um, then you got some other ones up here abyssal and hadal. Abyssal, hadal, and oceanic. That's pretty nice. This is coastal, shallow, and organic. So to me, this rod and this ro uh, rod are kind of a dream set up in terms of rods that gives you seven uh, different types you can fish from and don't get me wrong these nets are nice but certainly not as versatile as the rods and with a rod you can pick and choose the fish you want with a net you just take what they give you so um, Let's go out and get some fishing in really quickly before we end the episode. We're just trying to get some money here. I'm trying to figure out which one of these fish are worth the most money. Maybe the cod. fish some squids <coughs> okay uh, I want to say oh there he is right there get away uh, normally there's more squid available right here at the mouth. I must fish that spot out. Alright, let's sell these very quickly. Do we have enough money to unlock the last upgrade? I think we do. We do? Alright, new hull. What do we need here? One more piece of refined metal. Three cloth and three lumber. I think I know where another piece of refined metal is. So that'll get the tough stuff out of the way. And that will give us a big hull upgrade that we need. 
So I think that's going to be it for this episode, folks. When we, I'm going to take a little rest here. When we come back in the next episode, we will go back out to, uh, what was the name of that place? The Gale Cliffs. We've still got to get a conger eel out there and let it rot and then give it to the town's lady. Um, we've got some explosives to use out there. We've got to bring some explosives back here. So we'll do all that in our next hour of dredge. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. I will see you on the next video.